G'day. In today's video, I'm replacing the thermal paste on a Gigabyte GTX 1660 Ti gaming OC 6 gig model. Gonna need isopropyl alcohol, thermal paste, maybe a toothbrush, and a Phillips head screwdriver. This one should be relatively straightforward. To start off by taking off all the exposed screws here. Go and these two over here. This one and this one. There we go. And then we should be able to flip it over. And what I want to do is try and separate the GPU from the board, which should only be held down in a couple of spots. I do predict this one has been replaced before, as it is very stubborn. You should also be able to potentially twist like that to release. You see we're attached in two spots, which I'll just zoom in now. We're attached down here, wiggle that loose, and I'll leave this one attached up here. With the twist, we did risk damaging the firm or thermal pad. Still, plenty of thermal pad there to use, so I'm going to be happy with that. They're relatively soft and feeling. So, I'm going to move this one from there because there is a gap. Actually, now I'll just leave him. They still feel nice and squishy and slimy, which means they're still efficient. But the thermal paste, as we can see here, is very dry. So it can't hurt to replace that. So I'm going to put some isopropyl alcohol and some tissue paper. Let's give that a wipe over. There we go, like so. Move this up to see the die itself here. Do pretty much the same thing. Put that on there. There we go over that. Okay, we'll go over it one more time. Okay. Now from here, put some new thermal paste on there. Now, no matter how I do this, I will be wrong on the internet. Go. I'm not sure why we're coming out so brown, but that will do. Now we want to flip this over, reconnect the fan header. It pushes in one, one way only. Click that in. Then from here, I typically like to flip over the GPU and then I try and line up the holes from there. Should be able to look straight down and see where the holes need to go. Where are they? There, bingo. Push down from there. And then from here, you should be right to put those Phillips head screws back in. Two long ones go up here. So a very simple card to replace the thermal paste on. Some of them you have to take the back cover off, go around the front, take the front off, take the fan shroud off. But on this one, it's merely these six screws and that gets us access to where we need to get to. Okay. Okay, so I'm just doing them up mostly tight, but still not full tension. There we go. 
go now work diagonals. There we go. And that's done. Let's replace the thermal paste on the GeForce 60, uh, 1660 Ti Gaming OC. Bye.